Hey guys, it's Tech Confusion, and today we'll be taking a look at the Samsung Galaxy Amp 2. Some people do not have the funds to purchase an $800 flagship phone, but does that mean they still can't have a nice phone? Let's find out. I'd like to thank Cricut Wireless for making this video possible. Cricut is a prepaid wireless company that provides more 4G LTE coverage than any other wireless company. The device in this video can be purchased exclusively through Cricut. So the Galaxy Amp 2 is only $19.99 or free if you activate it with your existing number. But does the Galaxy Amp 2 perform and feel like a $20 phone, or can it hold up to some of the quality phones we have today? Starting off with design, it's an all plastic build, but in the hands it feels like a durable, high quality phone. The edges of the phone are made of plastic, but have a metallic finish to them which really makes it look like a premium phone. The Galaxy Amp 2 kind of reminds me of a full plastic version of the Galaxy S5. It's rocking a 4.5 inch AMOLED display at a whopping 800 by 480p resolution. Yep, you heard right, 480p. So don't expect it to look as good as the Google Pixel display. However, its lack of pixels is hardly noticeable for daily use and even when watching YouTube videos. The color of this display is vibrant and the viewing angles are surprisingly good. Below the display we find the typical buttons you'd find on most Samsung phones. The responsive and the home button is very tactile. The Amp 2 has two ports, one micro USB port for charging, and yes this phone still has a headphone jack. It has 1GB of RAM and 8GB of internal storage. I would have liked to see larger built-in storage options, however popping off the back cover reveals a mini SD card slot which can hold a 128GB SD card. Also under the cover we find a 2050mAh battery, which is mediocre for today's standards but I found I can usually go a full day of light use without having to charge. And because the battery is removable, you can also purchase a second battery and swap them out during the day if needed. The Galaxy Amp 2 has both a front and rear facing camera. On the back we have a 5 megapixel sensor that is capable of shooting average photos and 720p video at 30 frames a second. The front facing camera is limited to a 2 megapixel sensor, but you can still get decent looking selfies with it. The camera app offers modes such as panorama, sound and shot, and pro. If you're looking for an amazing smartphone camera, this phone is certainly not for you. But if you don't care if your photos are top notch, then the camera will suffice. Right next to the camera is a speaker that's definitely not the best phone speaker I've ever heard, but it's certainly not the worst. It has a slight tinny sound to it, but overall it's not that bad, and it gets the job done. Performance is a bit better than I expected. Over the course of my testing period, I never really experienced lag or freezing when doing some basic tasks. If you start to game on this phone, you'll experience a bit of lag, but it even handled games better than I thought it would. I ran a Geekbench test, and the Amp 2 got under one-fourth of the score of the flagship phones we have today. To be fair, this phone costs way less, so I'm not too surprised. So who is this phone for? Well, if you don't want to break the bank and purchase a high-end flagship phone, this may be a good alternative for you. If you're looking for a phone just to read emails, surf the web, text, call, and use other simple apps, the Galaxy Amp 2 may just be the perfect phone for you. Personally, I would not choose to use this as my main device, however if I ever broke my iPhone, I may consider getting this phone as a backup until I could purchase a new phone. So do you have the Samsung Galaxy Amp 2? If so, let me know down in the comments below what you think about it. And if you don't have the phone, let me know if you think the Amp 2 is the phone that you've been looking for. As always guys, I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did and found it helpful in any way, please remember to leave a like, and don't forget to comment and subscribe. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day, and until next time guys, peace out.